What is up guys, Matt here. I have got my second Monster Bass box. Gonna do a unboxing and a serious review of what I think about this box. Um, like I said, it's my second month, so let's unbox this thing and let's talk about it. All right guys, here we go. Let's open it up. This is supposed to be the October box. Um, I've already opened this. My audio was messed up. Like I said, this is supposed to be the October box, but people unboxed the same box last month in September, so I'm not sure what happened there, but let's open it. Got our O'Mills card, which O'Mills are awesome. If you don't like eating like Vienna sausages whenever you're fishing, these are great. You add water, they heat up, tastes pretty decent. Got a sticker. Our price card. All right. So, it's fall time. When you think fall, you think topwater, you think bait fish, especially where I live. Tons of bait fish getting eaten right now. So I'm thinking swim baits. So let's see how good they did on this box. <clears throat> so first bait. A Z-Man Diesel Minnow, which is a swim bait. Four inch AU color. Or at least that's how I assume you pronounce that. I have no clue. But anyway. So I think they rocked this one out of the park for this particular bait. So a little four inch swim bait. It's pretty pretty small in profile. Um, I'm used to fishing Kitex, uh, fat swings, so a little bit smaller than I'm used to, but it's got a nice hook slot in the bottom. And up here, where you have this, uh, this fin, that fin is actually a hook slot. So whenever you rig this up, your hook point will be inside of that fin and be weedless, so uh, that should work actually pretty good. Of course, this is Z-Man. These things are invincible. Um, I do recommend you use some kind of uh, soft plastic keeper on these. If you use a, a keeper on them, they will last you all day until you lose the hook you're throwing them on. So that's actually a really nice bait. A little bit smaller profile, but that will undoubtedly catch tons of fall fish trying to fatten up for the winter. So there's the first one. And this next one here is X-Zone 4-inch Adrenaline Bugs. I actually already have one out here. This is the Okeechobee Craw... Uh, ugh, excuse me. This is the Okeechobee Craw Color, if I can talk today. You got your green pumpkin black flake and your blue, your, <laughs> your blue and blue flake on this side. It's just your typical beaver style bait. Um, got some little flanges. I'm sure this has really good action in it. And I've actually already got, got this one rigged up on this uh, swinging football head. So this is kind of like um, my preferred way of fishing a crankbait because I fish this plastic just like a crankbait except it's weedless and uh, you know you just adjust your weight size to whatever your depth you're fishing. I actually make those jigs. If anybody wants any swinging football jigs I'll hook you up like two bucks a piece. Um, I can make up to an ounce and a quarter. So anyway, getting off topic, let's get back to the box. Next up, we have got Mustad 3 yacht extra wide gap hooks. I love Mustad hooks, they, they work. We have got some VNM high tail shads in white ice color. These are interesting. I've never seen a swim bait quite like this. Um, again, these are fairly narrow profile. I like a little bit fatter profile than that. But really nice colors, got some silver flake. Got a hook slot at the bottom. There is no hook slot at the top. So you're just gonna have to tech expose your hook unless you run these on like an open jig head. And uh, the paddle tail is upside down. So that is different. Um, I wanna see how this actually swims in the water. So that's actually pretty cool. So. Those are three baits and some hooks. And we still have three items left. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot one. We have got this Strike King Elite Buzz Bait Chartreuse in red. It's the Bleeding Bait series, I think. So it's fall time. Bass love buzz baits, so that's going to work awesome. So. Those are the baits in this box that I think are decent. And here's our price card. 
Okay. Strut King, five dollars. V and M, five dollars. Mustad, three dollars. X Zone, five dollars. And Z Man, four dollars. Which is a total of five, ten, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-two dollars. Okay. Twenty-two dollars for the base that I like in this box that I don't think are gimmicky and I think will absolutely catch fish and they absolutely should have been in this box. However, we have three baits left. Okay. So I have $22 worth of baits that I like. And these boxes cost $35 without, without a promo code. So keep that in mind. Our first bait. <clears throat> so Monster Bass's big thing is that they have name brand lures. What is this? Does anybody recognize this name? Have you ever seen this in Academy Bass Pro, Walmart? anywhere i've never seen it period even on like tackle warehouse i know the guy was saying this is like made by the same company that makes big bite baits which big bite baits are another subpar plastic company if it was a decent plastic i would not mind but these are these little bitty tiny trick worms as you see this is a red and kind of like a purple color well when i first opened this box this little worm was chartreuse and white so not only is this a, a brand i've never heard of it is a color changing plastic um help me out here if i'm wrong but whenever i'm selecting a color of plastic i want it to remain that color the entire time that i'm fishing it there is no reason to have a plastic that changes colors that is just gimmicky third grade bs there's no purpose of having that if i wanted a red and purple worm i would have bought a red and purple worm or if i wanted a white and chartreuse i don't want this thing to change colors as i'm throwing it so that's our first gimmicky bs bait it is five dollars as you can see five bucks for that which is uh, not happy with that. So that's the first one. Next here, we got a live target swim bait. I know some of you guys are saying, oh, Matt, it's a live target swim bait. Those are awesome. Newsflash, no, they're not. Okay. Um, I know they look really nice. They look like a little snack bluegill, but the swimming action is not that good. I would rather throw a regular paddle tail swim bait any day. Um, they do have a really stout hook, but um, I don't like these. Um, I don't know if you guys are paying attention. Um, John B. and One Rod, they're doing that challenge where they're sending each other the worst lures I could find. Um, this was one of the lures that One Rod sent to John B. Because they are a joke. Um, and that bait is, see if you can see it, sorry about that. 10 bucks for the live target next we have the gimmick of all gimmicks nobody wants this i don't know why they would package it i know they probably got a really cheap deal on these because nobody's buying them just to be honest but that is the savage gear 3d bat oh man oh man i don't even know where to start on this one um number one savage gear they do make some good stuff so savage gear don't get mad at me um and same for you live target you make some good stuff but your swim baits suck but anyway um this bat okay it's a bat i mean it's that's what it is it's a bat it's got little wings and a giant feathered treble hook and it'll catch fish it'll definitely catch fish you know this is the same premise of the head and crazy crawler um or the more expensive jackal pompadour um this is the smaller bat like i said i know this will get eaten for sure it'll catch fish but it's gimmicky um, my problem with that bait just like the other swim bait is that savage gear bat is 15 bucks okay so, like, and I just want to point out, I will admit, 
all three of those junk lures over there, they will catch fish, no doubt, okay? They will catch fish. They're just gimmicky. The problem, the main problem I have is the majority of value in my box comes from this stupid bat, this live target swim bait no one likes, and these color changing lures that I guess kids in high school think are cool because they change colors. All right, that's the majority of the value in this box. Those three items make up, let me see here, 15, 10, $30, those make up $30 of the value in this box. And like I told you guys earlier, a Monster Bass subscription is $35 a month. So you have $30 here of gimmicky BS baits. And then over here, I have these couple nice lures that I will definitely use that are valued around $22. So, let me turn this camera around real fast. Alright, so I know you guys are like, Matt, you got $52 of lures for $35? Why are you upset? Because $30 of that is absolute bullshit lures, okay? Um, they're gimmicky and they're overpriced and I, I did not get my money's worth. I would have never bought those. The reason they're in this box is because Monster Bass can buy them cheap. The same reason you get live target swim baits and crankbaits in the mystery tackle boxes all the time they can get them at a huge discount because they don't absolutely they don't act you know fly off the shelf and the great lake worm i have still never heard of that lure or that brand until monster bass box came out i know they it's like i think the second or third time they featured that plastic in their box like i said this is only my second month so i don't know but i know they have been in previous boxes so uh, that's just my take on it um that's 35 bucks i'm going to use 22 bucks of it I, I wasted my money, okay? Um, some baits are made to catch fishermen, some are made to catch fish. And like I said, you no doubt, you will catch fish on these, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate, especially for the live target swim bait and, the, and that bat, but you can get better lures for cheaper than those that'll catch more fish than those two baits will. I will take a heading crazy crawler over that bat any day. And you're not paying fifteen dollars for a head and crazy crawler, right? So that's that's just uh, that's my opinion on it. Um, they say it's a better box. In my opinion, this is the same thing that you're going to expect in a mystery tackle box. Um, I've had both. This is the same kind of stuff. The mystery tackle box. I had tons and tons and tons of lures that I never used. And um, that's just my honest opinion on it. You know, whenever you sign up for this, they ask you what kind of bait you like, and you tell them. And uh, I don't know, I don't think they really listen that much to those. Um, I hate crankbaits, okay? <clears throat> Which I know, calm down, don't kill me yet, okay? I understand. A lot of people like crankbaits. I do not like crankbaits, I do not like fishing them. I think that is the most boring kind of fishing there possibly is. And I made sure whenever I was filling out my preferred baits that I put down that I did not like crankbaits. And in my very first Monster Bass box, what I get? A crankbait. So, you know, this company, they have some improvement to, to work on. Um, I'm not saying they're bad. If you're new to bass fishing, you know, they might help you find some stuff you like. Um, they're just not for me. I'm just kind of throwing my money and setting on fire in a trash can. So that's my honest opinion. Said, I know I'm going to get some heat off of this and people are going to get mad at me for it, but um, that's just where I'm at. Um, I canceled my subscription after I opened this box. I'm just, I'm done with it. Um... I got caught in the hype a little bit, you know. All these people talking about how awesome the Monster Bass box was. You needed to get one because they were so awesome. And I should have known better, but I thought, hey, why not try it out? So that's just my opinion. Um, I think this box and Mr. Tackle box are right there on par with each other. So if you like that kind of thing, sign up for it. You know, you'll enjoy it. It's just not for me. So there's my there's my take on it. Like I said, subscription canceled. Um, so tomorrow, I am going fly fishing for hopefully some musky. Okay, um, I'm new at fly fishing. I haven't even caught like a smallmouth. I just been catching like some little dink, uh, largemouth, and bluegill on it. 
But I got a wild hair, and I'm going to go check and chase some, you know, 40-inch musky with teeth on a fly rod. So, um, if I catch one, you'll probably see a video of that. If not, then you probably won't. <laughs> but I'm going to go give that a shot, so hopefully I can bring you guys a musky on the fly. Um, I'm kind of busy, you know, I'm, I'm a dad, I'm, I've been doing college, I know my videos, I haven't really got that much fishing stuff out this month. Well, not this month. I haven't got that much fishing stuff out this year, period. Um, life happens, but hopefully I can get you some nice content with some musky. Um, I'm hoping my buddy's going to go with me, uh, and me and him are both going to try to catch one on the fly tomorrow. So, look forward to that. Uh, you know, they're the fish of 10,000 casts, so I don't have my hopes up that high. But if I can just get to see one follow my lure in, I think that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, that is going to be one of my new goals I'm setting, is I'm going to catch a muskie on the fly. Which I haven't even caught one on a conventional tackle, but why the hell not? So, that's what we're doing. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, I know I'm getting flack for it. Um, it's just not, it's not for me. And it's, it's the same thing as Mr. Tackle Box in my opinion. So until next time, I'll see you guys.